Okay, enough, enough. We get it, we get it. Sad moment, sad vibe, sad check. But those 15 seconds, aren't they just relatable? Okay, so here's a look at player one. He is an absolute farmer. So that means he's farming from pretty much all throughout waves, typically one through 14, maybe even 15 and 16. But nevertheless, he is basically just absolutely farming. He is also a mana sharer. He's basically just mana sharing with his teammate pretty much throughout the whole entire game, but specifically more so through waves one through 14 because player two will be your your primary defense through the beginning of the waves. After he is done with all of that, after player two's finally upgraded his troops to be to defend those first couple of waves, his next goal, his next job is to basically put down a Spectre, fully upgrade him. This will allow for player two to have very cheap upgrades and it'll enable him to upgrade and put down more troops at a much, much more better rate, if you will. And again, his his goal is to basically just full on mana share until I want to say wave 32. I, I I have to look back and see. But nevertheless, he's basically mana sharing throughout the whole entire game. So that's his goal. That's his job. And that's what player one is about. OK, so here's player two. He's basically an early game hero. His primary job, at least in the beginning of the wave, is to protect waves one through 14. This is his primary focus. After waves 1 through 14, his next goal is to basically plant all of his towers and fully upgrade them and basically absorb all the mana from player player 1 and this will enable him to basically put down all the troops, upgrading them all and once he's done with that, his next job is to primarily just mana share with player 1 so that way player 1 can catch up to player 2 and plant their troops. And after that, once the final wave, which is wave 40, once that comes by, He's basically he's basically very important at the end game. So his job is to switch between bite and dumpster, providing continuous continuous damage to the final boss and providing stuns and slowdowns, basically upgrading bite from level four to five. And that is player two. So here's a basic map that will help you guide through your way of frantic forest. So the purple middle area is where Dumpster Child, Scientist, and Bebo are going to be, at least the first three. They're going to be covering waves 1 through 14. This will help you basically protect that campfire. So you, you obviously don't want to take damage. So they'll protect that area. The red area is where Bite's going to be. So if you look on the left lane, Bite is going to be there primarily through whatever wave you want to start him on all the way through 39. This will help stun whatever is coming through this wave because sometimes depending depending on how the game wants to basically mess with your luck a bit it'll release either two goblins or two reapers whatever the case may be he'll be really good there to stun whatever whatever is coming down that lane and then the white area will focus on whatever stun near the bite and on the right hand side when wave 40 comes by he'll primarily be put there for a slowdown and a stun and then replaced and then put there stun slow basically all the way through that trail so you're primarily going to be using bite to slow down and stun the boss so after using after using dumpster child from the purple area you're going to want to move them up to where the green area is this will be good for providing a little bit more da extra damage to the boss so he'll be he'll be taking damage from dumpster dumpster child's burning and then the radioactive effect that comes in afterwards so that's going to be really good so you're going to want to switch between him and bite consistently and constantly again every little bit of damage helps so make sure you use him the yellow area is where the lemonade cat is going to be so this I, I circled this area because it's mostly the useless area and it doesn't get in the way of whatever middle areas in the map where all your troops are going to be so it's very good to put them down at that bottom row so put your lemonade cats there and they'll excel there because again they're that's a very unimportant place to put any troops at besides lemonade cat so put them there and everything should be fine they won't get in the way so put them there the white area this is where all your damage towers are going to be with the exception of of course dumpster child and bite they're going to all be there to cover that right hand area for 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 specifically the boss and a little bit of the left bottom area where the bite is supposed to be for waves wherever you want to start off to 39 so put them all there so that way it could cover that entire right hand side and cover a little bit on the left hand side the left hand side won't matter as much because at, at wave 40 the left lane completely closes and the boss comes out through the right hand side lane so that's why i circled that middle area because that's the area you want to have primary focus on so many people make the mistake of putting it in a in a more closer towards mid area covering both lanes but that's not a good idea because then you'll be sacrificing a lot on the right lane so make sure you put them all there on that white circle area that's the sweet spot 
do that and I promise you, you will excel in damaging the boss. Okay, so everything's working out pretty good. Everything's working out pretty good. We'll upgrade Bebo to the final level. Okay, so by wave 16, you should have everything set. At least for this middle area. Okay, wave 18 is the official wave to complete all the Lemonade Cats. So by this time, your partner should be able to put down a Spectre right about here. Right around here is where he should put it. Okay, wave 19. This is, this is the wave when the Spectre is fully equipped, fully upgraded. This is the part where you start, as player 2, start putting down your troops and fully upgrading them. Okay, so I had just put down my level 5 scientist, one of them. So what you're going to do here now is to delete this scientist because he's no longer he's no longer viable and he's very unnecessary since this guy's going to be doing double damage anyway. It's like having two scientists up. So do that, delete it. Of course, I already did that. And just plant more and again, just continue putting, putting down your troops in an orderly fashion. Buy a scientist all in a row, seven fractures all in a row, and then... Five, uh, seven Bebos all in a row. Okay, so here's what the full setup looks like for player two. Five scientists by the Spectre, seven fractures right up front of the scientist and the Spectre, and then of course seven Bebos to finish it all off. So this will be a full 20 set because you, are, you got Dumpster Child here. So delete him. Here's where you put Bite right here. So put him here and just keep him at level four. And then once you see him hit something, imme not immediately, but wait a couple of seconds. And once you see the level four wearing off or completely wear off, then upgrade it to level five. Well, of course, that's only if you get goblins, but anyways, yeah, that's that's pretty much the setup for player two. And of course, my alt account, or in this case, player one, he's struggling very hard with the cash. So obviously, as your job as player two, now that everything is set up, you pretty much just mana share with your partner. Okay, so here's wave 37. Here's the complete set. So five scientists, seven fractures, seven bebos, all in a row. And then it repeats again with player one's troops so do that and everything should be set so this is what it fully looks like everything is just packed in that middle area and of course you have you have a bite over here defending this lane until wave 39 that is once wave 39 ends you come all the way over here and you defend wave 40 okay so this is your job this is your job as player two so hopefully you got something out of this but yep we'll be seeing you at wave 40 Okay, wave 39 cleared. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's the final wave. Here's the final wave, boss. Okay. All right, make sure you put Bite here. Upgrade him to level 3 just to do some damage to whatever mob is coming out. This isn't going to be a big difference, but nevertheless, it's just to just to give a little bit of damage here and there. Okay, wait till this guy is completely off. Wait till, actually, wait till they start taking damage. Once they start taking damage, upgrade. Okay. Lo now he is completely slowed down so level four bite is going to be doing his own thing okay uh upgrade him to level five. Oh my goodness i missed okay so he should be completely paralyzed here now he's taking damage this is absolutely how you want things to go so here's when you switch on and off with with whatever's coming on so obviously the boss is going to take some burning damage here so once he's out of range sell him and pro replace him with the bite again upgrade all the way to level four he should be slowed down i believe he's slowed down yep he's completely slowed down excellent now upgrade him to level five and he should be paralyzed absolutely amazing nine second complete delay all right now that he's done with now replace him again with dumpster child the enable burning effect look at that every bit of damage counts every bit of damage counts all right so he should be dying at this point excellent upgrade him to level four he should be slowed down hold on hold on hold on oh he's not slowing down we didn't count the seconds correctly oh now there it is he slowed down okay so sell him upgrade him all the way to level five now he's completely paralyzed Phase 2 is a lot faster, so you won't be seeing too much slowdown of paralysis, but nevertheless, this is what you want to do. Okay, so now replace him. Burn. Should be really, really good right here. Okay, excellent, excellent. Alright, now we're going to upgrade him to level 4. It should help with even the smallest little minions that he summons. Okay, now he's completely slowed down. Okay, good, 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 good. And upgrade to level 5. Complete paralysis. Excellent. All right, so we're going to sell him now. I'm going to put him right here. Dumpster Child's going to be fully upgraded. Could do some continuous burning damage. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to put Bite underneath the bridge right here. This will help a lot. So upgrade him to level 4. This will enable him to slow down any little mobs. 
Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We did it. We did it. We did it. There you go, boys. That is absolutely how you complete this map. Two people only. Oh man. I I honestly I, my butt clenched a little underneath that bridge, but yeah. We kind of messed up a little bit on the front, but you get the general idea. Okay, that's how you beat Frantic Forest on hard with the minimal people. It, the minimal is two, so that's all you need. Hope this tutorial helped you guys, and hopefully you can share this with others who are struggling, who need help, who need a very, very strict go-to guide. So hopefully this tutorial covers all of that. Hopefully it was strict enough so you could follow with ease. Anyways, I'll be logging off. Thank you for watching.